Kevin, what the hell is that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today, a trip down memory lane with a revival on a machine I built myself back in high school. It's a it's a snap it's a snap it's, it's a, a snap onda. It's a moped. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> knee slapper. Took me years to think of that one. <laughs> This? Scrap metal. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a few questions. Did, was it always missing the no, front tire? No. Or okay. just so like, hey, you know what? This will work out. Here's how we're going to lead into this. So growing up my whole life, there was always this moped sitting down in the shed. This old blue Honda in the back of the shed. I didn't know anything about it. It was just back there. I'd play on it. When I was eight or nine, I got the harebrained idea to go make it run. And this was actually the first revival I ever did. What I did was went down to it, put gas in the tank, and then just kicked it for like eight hours <laughs> somewhere around noon that day it popped off for the first time somewhere around two i could get it to run for like three four seconds and somewhere around five or six o'clock it actually fired up and drove up the hill to the shop at my folks house and then kevin's one leg was giant and super <laughs> muscular and the other leg was just super skinny <laughs> after that i just started riding it around the yard every day until it kind of nursed itself back to life we've probably put three or four hundred miles on this thing as children riding this in the yard. This was our dirt bike. We had a couple go-karts that were always broke and this as the dirt bike and we rode the hell out of this. I did so many burnouts with it that the tire has a flat tread all the way around. One day I hit a stump and folded the front tire under so it wasn't quite rideable anymore and I got annoyed. So I cut it off and built what I claimed at the time would be a redneck Can-Am Spider. So I, obviously you take the front end of the snapper lawnmower, you weld it right there, you give it a little gusseting right here, and this sucker bolted on or plugged right in or something, I don't remember, but it it's functional. And this took me, I shit you not, 15 minutes to build. At which point I got on it, rode it, turned, it immediately threw me down a ditch and I slid down a ditch backwards. And at the bottom of the ditch I went, okay, I need to do something for stability. That's where this training wheel apparatus comes from. This is uh, absolutely crucial to keep yourself alive while riding the moped. It's also got a lawnmower muffler that's not really it. It's it's seen some shit, obviously. Me and time. This thing is held together with bubble gum. Yeah, we didn't. We never had gas for the welder, <laughs> like my whole life. So all of these welds have like no shielding gas on them. I love how you can still see the wire. Yeah, I didn't. Dude, 15 minutes, I'm telling you. It was 15 <laughs> minutes for the front and about five for the back. I have one like this, but not like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I have one that's the Express, that's like the normal Express, and hasn't been, um... Mopeded. So long story short, this is a thing that exists. Uh, it's been sitting for probably five, six years since it last ran, if I had a guess. The seat's seen some shit since then, but structurally it's all still here for better or worse. So we're going to see if we can get this thing running today. Used to sit in a shed at my parents' house, but the shed got hit by a tornado. And dad's building a shop there, so I had to clean the shed out, which is what all this crap is. And we thought, oh hell. Well, we got John and Mook's brother here, and Mook, this will be the perfect day to bring the moped back to life. I'm John. I'm the one who had the mullet and then don't have the mullet. So if you guys <laughs> can't tell who it Golden is, rust and bust. It's, it's, that's me. Oh, How are you doing? Great. <laughs> Look at the convenience. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Move aside, Honda three wheeler. It's back with five wheels. So basically, just like back in the day. All we have to do is turn the key on and just do this for like four or five hours. It's Sunday and I have to be home in four or five hours. <laughs> it's faster. In a serious manner. Ah, it has no gas. So this will be just like the time I actually first initially revived it. Well, don't say that. <laughs> just like any old Honda, this is probably all we're going to need to do. <laughs> that and I think the throttle cable needs some help. By which I mean it's broken. 
You don't need a throttle cable. Not particularly. All right, that's enough for like three years on one of these. Now it's three years and two weeks. What the? What is up with all the glitter? So when the <laughs> tornado hit the shed, oh, there was no. a quart of metal flake from back when my dad did body work. Somehow this one quart of like OG metal flake survived until the tornado hit and it fell and exploded on the ground and every single thing in the shed covered heavily in blue glitter. Wow. I, I mean, I am also a connoisseur of arts and crafts, but... Oh, craft beers? <laughs> no, arts and crafts of, <laughs> of, of glitter such. Jokingly kicking that. Okay, give it a kick. Let's see if she revs. cable back up this broke years ago so it's got you know a lawn mower, like push mower throttle going on down here so we'll get that set back up and put some air in the tire and we're good to go i was joking when i said that it would fire up and we just don't get i mean it. that fire up instantly. like instantly <laughs> so i was just kicking it because i was bored unkillable machines oh i'm trying to remember what exactly i had going on here it looks like someone snapped my throttle cable after I rode this thing for years, even as a moped and then the moped, Jesse actually rode it around the farm as well, so this was the thing to drive back then. Oh, is that what it was? I just stuck the ends of the cables in the bindings of the spring, and then we pressed the pedal, and it pulled the cable. So this one's your oiler. To be fair, it's probably not been used in years. It There's helped. still oil in it. Yeah, it's. I filled it once when we got it running in like 2008 so i don't think it oils a lot <laughs> all right we're gonna have to get creative to figure out something for a throttle cable all right so here's my plan for moped foot throttle version two this hopefully will last another six years we're gonna take one of these pinch it right here i still wish you had the thing you built that was of this level yeah uh, it was cool i sold it for 300 bucks though it was a wheelbarrow that I took from a guy that I worked with and I took the front end of the wheelbarrow, cut it off, flipped it up, put my dashboard in it, had a driving, it had like a steering wheel like a go-kart and then it had the engine behind me that was a 23 horsepower twin Briggs and Stratton out of a lawnmower. So you had to like be a three, three armed man running this because you had a throttle that was controlled by a crescent wrench uh, you had you had your belt tensioner, and then you had to throw it into gear on the bottom in the transmission that I stole out of it, out of the lawnmower. But it was badass. It would pop wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna work. It's, it's full throttle. Now all I need to do is get a zip tie to hold this guy still, so that our oiler moves the same amount as our fuel. Give her a little 90 degree kink right there, make life easy. Maybe, maybe two of them. There we go. And because we're fancy, I'll even cut the tail. Put some air in the tires and I guess ride this thing. Uh... It's doing it.
liked it. Oh, the brakes work. We've popped our um, air box off to get a look in there. And as you can see, she's, uh, she's full, of, full of oil in the carb. So I'm gonna try to clean that out a little bit. Dump it out. You know, give her, give her a good Honda carb clean. All right, that's good for four years. It keeps dying at full throttle, it's weird. Oh, don't let the glitter go in. <laughs> Be a little sticky down low? She might be. Okay, well let's fire it up and then we'll do the old sucky pluggy. Ready? Yeah. Live, you son of a bitch. It's like CPR on a moped. Come on. Alright. I would say that's pretty much good to go. We'll just put this air filter back on here and hit the road. death trap yeah that's do you see why the wheel, training wheels are on yeah the second you well, turn <laughs> it lifts any wheel off the ground well what i love is so this isn't center right here because i'm leaning on one wheel if i wanted to be center one, one wheel gets off the ground <laughs> <laughs> like it is a little leany i noticed it's that um too. you definitely want to lean off to this side I heard you hit second there and go ripping through. Yeah, down. I mean, down the hill, I was going fast. Yeah, you were booking. Yeah, I mean, I was like, this is pretty fast. <laughs> for this a lawnmower. Pretty fast for a death trap. Fastest snapper front end yeah, on this for, side of the Mississippi. Exactly.
<laughs> All right, let's see it, John. Thank you guys for joining us on this quick adventure of Junkyard Dig's arrival and a little bit of Junkyard Dig's history on the shit I made in high school. I've always thought that this thing was crazy enough and dumb enough to deserve some fame on the internet when I initially built it. I just didn't have the means to do so. And now that I do, well, here we are. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode. Um, if you have a snapper lawnmower and a moped of your own, I wouldn't suggest doing this, but uh, just in case you do, wear a helmet. Oh, by the way, a fun little note, Honda Express Iowa. If you didn't know, the Iowa is because Iowa had a lower maximum speed limit than all the other states for mopeds. They were 27 mile an hour versus I think 35. So Honda made a version specifically for Iowa. Either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, leave a comment below of some of the crazy stuff you built in your younger years. And we'll see you right here next week for another full episode of Junkyard Digs. Peace. Golden Ruster Bus, everyone. Check him out on YouTube. I'm a little crazy. We'll see Fine. you guys next week. Peace.